don't pay no mind to a hater When I spit, I leave a crater We make bangers Bangers, bangers We make it bangers What's going on everybody, Degree here, back with another YouTube video, and today I just want to go over my level 32 Warlock build. Um, so, before we get into it, I just want to say that all of my gear, my weapons, and my, my perks do change it up. I, I switch it up occasionally, um, depending on if I'm doing raid, um, if I'm doing casual play, and different things like that. So, right now we're just going to hop in. We're using the Sunsinger um, because honestly, I think the Sunsinger is better in my opinion. But uh, Voidwalker is a lot of fun, but Sunsinger is the way to go for me. Uh, here are my stats. We got armor and recovery as high as they go. And agility as low as it can go. Uh, the reason is is because I prefer more more armor and... Uh, or more health and more or faster health recovery than, uh, than your movement speed. Uh, depending on the situation. Now... If I'm doing the abyss in the in the uh, the raid, then I will go um, high agility, as high as agility as I can, because you're not really killing that much. You're trying to stay away from the enemies. You try to get it through as fast as possible. So that's why I go um, high agility uh, <clears throat> when I'm doing the the abyss. Now. Moving on, we're just going to go to the grenades. Uh, I use all three of these grenades. I personally love all three of these grenades, but I use certain ones for certain things. Solar grenade I will use for the abyss to uh, protect me from the thrall. Um, you throw it at your feet, they'll, they'll run away. Um, it does some good damage. You can keep, uh, keep yourself safe when you're at the lamps and stuff. Fireball grenade is my typical grenade I always use. Um, you can hit up to three enemies. It does a lot of damage, um, and it's just a beast, honestly. Uh, I love this grenade. <clears throat> The fusion grenade, I'll use a fusion grenade for PvP, but that's about it. Uh, if you stick an enemy in PvP, P, PvP, PvP with the fusion grenade, uh, it's a one hit. It'll just kill him right away. Uh, but PvE, I don't really mess with the fusion grenade. I always typically go with Firebolt. Uh, moving over to Glide. Glide, we're using the Focus Burst because uh, it gives you an additional boost of speed. And uh, that that lack, or that or helps uh, with the lack of agility I have on, uh, on my stats. It gives me, a, I can move faster. Um, for Radiance, we are using Fireborn. Um, gives me a second life, uh, Revive from the Dead. Uh, it's good for Nightfalls, Raids, and everything. It's just two lives. It's, it's better than one. <laughs> uh, moving over to Scorch. For Scorch, we're using Flame Shield. Um, Flame Shield is, is, is crazy good. Um, it helps me out in so many situations. I just melee, get, my, get a whole other extra bar of health, basically. So you, can, you get two bars of health, almost. <clears throat> it helps me a lot in a lot of situations. Um, moving over, we got Arcane Spirit. You get Training Focus on Battle Recovery and Toughness. That's that's my stats right there. Um, here you go, Radiant Will. Increase the duration of Radiance. Um, this helps to get more damage off um, with your grenades or Scorch. Um, and, you, I mean, you could you essentially do more damage because you have a longer Radiance. Over here, we got Divine Order. Training Focus on Toughness at all costs. Uh, again, with my stats, get or take more damage. Uh, and then Gift of the Sun, you get an additional grenade. Um, this this is is a must because uh, two grenades are better than one. Like uh, like two lives are better than one, or um, two health bars are better than one. That's typically the warlock the warlock build right there. Um, getting another grenade is just is just better than one. Right there. Um, moving over to the weapons, um, I love scout rifles. I always use scout rifles. So um, typically I'm going to be using a scout rifle in my build. So uh, the Fang of Ear you. Uh, is is my normal is what I normally use. Um, I love the uh, the stats on it. I don't really like the the perks, but uh, the stats are really good on it. And it's an arc damage weapon, so that's that's a bonus too. Uh, if I'm in the abyss uh, or I need to go fast, multi tool all the way because it gives me a bonus in movement speed, which is amazing. Um, so those I always use a scout rifle typically. Um, so that's what I'm normally going to play with. Um, sword or sword breaker special weapons. Um, Shotguns, I always use Swordbreaker. Uh, I find it really, really deadly at close range. And with the shotgun, that's typically where you are, it's close range. Um, so Swordbreaker, that's what I normally use. Um, for snipers, I really, really love the Icebreaker. Uh, I think everyone does. Uh, unlimited ammo, and it, it really does some hardcore damage. It does a lot of damage. Uh, but if I'm using uh, an exotic somewhere else, I will use the Black Hammer as my, my other sniper to use. Uh, and moving down to heavy weapons, the Galahorn, easily, my opinion, the best weapon in the game. I'm always using the Galahorn to be fighting Crota, fighting just, just anything, casual play or anything. Um, I'm, I'm using the Galahorn. 
Now, if I'm not, if I'm using the icebreaker or something, uh, I will use Hunger of Crota because it's a kind of like a mini gal horn. It's not as good, but it still is great. I need to fully upgrade that um, in the future um, there. But uh, if I'm playing PvP, I will use a corrective measure. Uh, to me, heavy machine guns are better than rocket launchers in PvP because you get you kill faster, or you kill fast with a with a heavy machine gun, and you have a bigger mag. Rocket launcher, you can kill a lot of enemies at once, but you only get like four shots. And so, to me, the uh, the the heavy machine guns are the way to go for PvP. Moving on to the gear, the gear is always going to be. Uh, um, what's this raid gear? I'm always going to be using some site, some sort of raid gear. Um, now the the exotic is going to vary between different things. So if I'm using um, it, a casual play or my yeah my normal casual play or sometimes um, things in the raid, I will be using hard proxic fire because it's the uh, it's the best uh, sun singer exotic there is. Um, but if I'm fighting Crowder or something, I will use the... I'm going to mess that word up, so I'm just going to say the Veil. I will be using the Veil uh, because when you when you pick up an orb, you regenerate health. And then uh, when you use your super, you re regenerate health automatically. So that really, really helps out there. Um, the other helmets, they're kind of... I don't know. They're, they're iffy. I will be using the Obsidian Mine if I do play as Voidwalker, but um, I typically don't. Um, I never use the the gauntlets. I always stay with the uh, the Death Singers grips. Um, the, the, I wear the Death Singers mantle if I'm wearing the the veil, and then no, the boots are just boots. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. That's my level 32 uh, warlock build. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like on the video, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. And uh, everyone, have a great day. I don't even know what I'm saying no more. They tell me that I rock, so I guess I'm on a roll with a slow mo.